Hey y'all, Mike here from allamerican.org and today we're talking about how to find watches made in the USA. So watches are a super popular accessory and while I am not much of a watch man myself, I've done a ton of research on these products. So make sure to check that link in the description below for a full write-up on watches on allamerican.org and you can go and visit the site for all of our brand investigations, product category research, news, and everything else that we do to support American manufacturing. Now today we're going to go into all of our usual topics on watches, how to find them, and some tips on material sourcing and looking for that country of origin, our favorite American-made watch brands, and to cover some of where the big brands in the industry are actually made. So make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's dive right in with some tips on material sourcing. So there's really a few main components to a watch that you need to look into when you're doing research on finding brands that are sourcing American-made materials. The first major material category is the casing of the watch, which is typically going to be made from something like stainless steel, titanium, carbon, or some other really durable material. Now, there are a lot of really good sourcing options for US suppliers for that type of material. So you should have no problem finding American-made watch brands that are sourcing from domestic suppliers for the casing. It's really when you get into basically the innards of the watch where we get a little bit of trouble in terms of finding good American sourcing options. Now the dials on the watch are typically made from some sort of alloy material. Now these were typically historically made with some more common just basic metals, but these new alloys that have been developed over the last 100 years or so in watchmaking are really corrosion and rust resistant, and you can typically find good sourcing options for those types of materials in the US. But the movement of the watch is really where we struggle to find a lot of good American sourcing. There are generally two types of movements in watches. You have your quartz movements, which are battery powered and actually more recently developed over the last 50 to 100 years. And then you have your mechanical movements. Your mechanical movements have more of a sweeping motion across the face of the watch, and they are typically more synonymous with your higher end luxury brands. It's the more traditional way to make watches, and there's really two varieties. You have your manual wind mechanical movements, and then your automatic ones that are basically just generating energy from your hand moving around. These types of movements inside watches actually used to be fairly common to source in the US a really long time ago, but since the invention of the quartz movement, that basically disintegrated a lot of the American watchmaking industry. It got bought up by a lot of foreign investors, and now you get a ton of American assembled watch companies that are sourcing Swiss movements primarily. So when we get into some of the American-made brands that we're featuring, a lot of them have Swiss or some sort of foreign movement in them. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your research. Most of these watch manufacturers are also super friendly and very responsive. So we had no problem reaching out to a lot of the manufacturers, asking questions about sourcing and things like that. So if you're ever confused looking at the product details around where stuff is sourced, definitely hit them up and ask, or you can just shoot us a message at allamerican.org and we'll help find out for you. All right, let's get into some great American-made watch brands. Now, I don't have time to cover every single American-made watch brand in this video. so. Like I said before, link in the description below for all of our research and all of the brands that we could find that are either close to 100% made in the USA, and we also featured some brands that are assembled in the USA with some globally sourced components because again, it's just really tough to find a couple of components to watches that are sourced from US suppliers. First up is S&B watches. SMB stands for Smith and & Bradley, and these folks are based out of Champaign, Illinois. SMB makes tactical dive and casual watches, and they are really intense about their product development. For example, their very popular Sands 13 tactical watch, they interviewed over 100 members of law enforcement and the armed forces to get at what are all of the non-negotiables that they need to make sure that they include in that model. So these folks really go above and beyond when it comes to their watchmaking. They do have a Swiss movement, like I mentioned before, and we also have an exclusive discount code with them, so you can use the code ALLAMERICAN for 10% off your order. Next up is Shinola. 
Shinola is based in Detroit, Michigan, and they're one of the more popular names that you actually may be familiar with when it comes to watches. They have everything from casual to luxury watches and a ton of different styles for men and women. And another good option out of Detroit while I'm at it is the Detroit Watch Company, so make sure to give them a look as well. Next up is Devon. Devon is based in Pasadena, California, and they make some of the more unique watches on the market. I mean, seriously, these things don't even look like watches, and they don't even call them watches, they call them time belts. Devon uses essentially conveyor belts going vertically and horizontally around the watch to get a really unique look. So if you want something that stands out, definitely check out Devon. Next up is Vortic Watches. Vortic Watches is based in Fort Collins, Colorado, and they are a very small batch watchmaker. Everything is 100% handmade and it really has its own kind of unique style to it. So once you buy a watch, it's pretty much gone forever. Check out their American Artisan series in particular, tons of awesome styles in there and they use primarily US source components. And the last brand I'll mention in today's video is Weiss Watch Company. Weiss Watch Company has some really high quality watches that take a ton of time to make. Every single watch is 100% handmade and takes over 60 hours of work to complete. They have a stainless steel casing, brass alloy dials, and generally all of their different styles are just super durable and really beautiful. All right, now let's get into some of the big brands in the industry and where they're actually made. First up are Timex watches made in the USA. And the answer is no, most Timex watches are made in China, Philippines, France, India, Switzerland, and other countries. They do have one American-made watch that they released recently called the American Document, so you can check that out if you're interested, but generally their entire watch inventory is pretty much important. Next up are Fossil watches made in the USA. And the answer is no, Fossil watches are pretty much exclusively made in China. Fun fact, Fossil's original name was actually Overseas Products International, so it is not really a surprise at all that pretty much all their stuff is imported. So those are the only two popular brands I'll do deep dives on today. Just a few other names to watch out for that are international names in watchmaking. So they're not actually American companies and all their manufacturing happens overseas. Those are folks like Rolex, Omega, Seiko, Casio, Tissot. All those guys are essentially in either Switzerland, Japan, or some other countries, but those typically are two really popular ones for watchmaking. If you have any questions on other specific watchmakers and where they are made, definitely shoot me a note and we can find out for you. Alrighty y'all, that's it for this video on how to find watches made in the USA. If you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment below or hit me up on allamerican.org and I'll make sure to get back to you. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.